Today is a very special day, everybody. Today is a very special day because we get to do a brand spanking new tier list. And what better tier list to do than in an Elite Four Battle Themes tier list, you know? Everyone's favorites, right? Surely. This has been requested a couple of times. Uh, it was actually voted on. It was a little secret poll for our couple of YouTube members uh, that got to help influence which one we did next. And based on that poll, ta-da, this is the one that uh, had the most votes. So here we are. Brand new Elite Four uh, tier list. And if you guys want to help influence future tier lists or potential other future things, perhaps consider becoming a YouTube member <laughs> because they are, uh, you know, available and it helps me a lot. But, you know, it's up to you or whatever. Like, no pressure. But also, you know, like, you know, you can if you want. Here we are. Brand new tier list. Of course, we need to rename. I can't type. I can't type. Absolute banger. Of course, as always. I don't think really any of these themes are going to end up too low. I think from what I remember, pretty much all of these themes are pretty great. Just so people don't mauled. I mean, it's going to happen anyways. It happens with every tier list. But we're going to be splitting hairs. Like, I, I can't just put all of them in, like, absolute banger in A, right? We're going to be splitting hairs. D tier should be called Mute Game. <laughs> no, none of them are that bad. I don't think any of these themes are going to end up in D tier. I'm going to be honest. Like, if they do, it's just because I forgot. And comparing it to the rest of them, it's just kind of, like, really underwhelming. But I'm pretty sure most of them are pretty good. Anyways, we'll get we'll get into the first one here. Uh, our first one is the Ruby Sapphire Emerald Elite Four battle theme. Uh, because, for those that don't know, the first two generations did not use new themes for their Elite Four members. It was specifically the Gym Leader theme repurposed as the Elite Four theme as well. So that is why it starts in Gen 3. For this tier list because we're not gonna if you want to see gym leader themes ranked against each other that's an entirely separate video i did like how many years ago now like two years ago <laughs> something like that so there's a whole different video for that here we go first theme gen 3. And then it loops. It's not a super long theme, right? It's like a it's like a minute long loop. Nothing crazy, but pretty iconic. I mean, I, I feel like Gen Three was one of those gens where like I feel like everybody around that time had like a Gen Three cartridge, right? Like it felt like everybody played Gen Three, at least in my age range. And it feels like as I've become you know an adult and everything too, it's like it just feels like everybody played Gen Three in some capacity. So I feel like this one is very iconic for a lot of people. As an overall Elite Four theme, it does a lot of like really cool stuff. Um, as personal like bias, you know, as somebody who had to learn how to play that theme on trumpet, I'm very familiar with that theme. So I do love it very much. I have muscular PTSD from the absolute ridiculous high notes on trumpet that I had to try to play. But it's a great theme. I like it a lot. I don't remember the rest of the theme super well, so I don't know exactly. This might be one of those tier lists where things have to move around quite a bit. But I'm going to start with like a solid A tier, I think, there. Just because I think it's good. I think it does its purpose. Like it's not trying to do too much. It feels intense. It's like it's fast paced. There's these screaming high notes. It comes back down. I think it does a really solid, good job of what an Elite Four theme is supposed to do. Our next theme, just kind of going in order here, uh, we have the Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire version of that theme. We'll kind of just compare them back to back since, you know, why wouldn't you? I don't remember exactly like how different this one is. So let's take a listen and just kind of get an idea, shall we?
that's not really doing it for me. It feels like they took the original theme and just threw it into like the new sound font and called it a day. I mean, even just those first da 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 like there's no space in the in the remake. It's just la 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 like it's all one like slurred line. There's no like articulation in the remake of it. It's just la 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 la. Like the rest of it, like after that, like. The instrumentation is nice, but just, it just doesn't, it feels like it's missing something. It feels like it's, it's like missing, maybe it's just the lack of brass. Maybe it's the lack of like the, the, the trumpets, the, the horn, like, cause it's still there. Yeah. It just doesn't feel like, I mean, I know that the instrumentation is going to be different. Cause like the whole sound font's different. They use like orchestral stuff more. So it's like, I know it's going to be different, but like, it's, it's just, it's like too different. It's too different. It just doesn't give me that same, it just feels like a cover of the original. It, it, instead of like a, a reimagining of the original or like a really like actual updated version, it just feels like a, like a, like a cover, I guess. I don't know. That's the best way I can explain it. Uh, I don't want to harp on it for too long, but like, I don't know. It's it, right now. It's kind of feeling like a C tier. Like it feels like it's just, it's just very, I mean, it's not like a horrible theme. But right now it's just not cutting it for me. Like I don't, I, I feel a lack of like energy from it. Maybe, maybe, maybe C tier is too harsh. I don't know. For now, I'm putting it C tier. So the diamond and pearl and platinum theme we just discovered uh, is very similar to the gym leader theme. It is technically a different pitch. It's like kind of pitched down a little bit. So we will be ranking it here, but it's not like super different from the gym leader theme. Here we go. This is the diamond, pearl and platinum elite four battle theme. I mean, it's just, it's still good. It's still good. Here's the thing. Normally, the gym leader theme for it, it slaps. It's really good. It's, it, it's great. The fact that it's that similar to the gym leader theme, I just, I can't put it in absolute banger. It's just, it's not. Tentatively, I'm going to go A tier there. I mean, it's like, it's still a great, it's still a great theme. I, I, it, it slaps. The bass goes crazy. But it's, it's not like, you know, I just, I cannot. I can't put it in banger. I just can't. It needs to be, it needs to be more unique to actually be up there. So if it made like substantial changes, cause I, like, listen to this and you'll understand for those that are not aware, what we just listened to and you compare that to this. It's like the same song. Like, now you understand why. You know, if you weren't aware before, now you know. Like, it's just, it's not, it is not unique enough. It, it almost makes me want to move it down another tier, but it's, the theme is still so good. Like, I'll, I'll put it in A tier because it's still great. Uh, we added Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl because apparently they kind of did the same thing where they just like pitched down the gym leader theme. So if this one's on here, then technically the remake one should also be on here. Honestly, this list might have been originally made by, this was originally put together by Hoodlum Callum. This was probably made before these remakes even came out. Because the, the most recent one that was on here was Sword and Shield. So it was probably just before that even came out. So let's take a listen to the Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl version of their Elite Four theme. And we'll see if it's better than the original or not. I don't know. Let's give it a listen. I like the brass there.
I might like that more. It still can't be an absolute banger because it's not unique enough from the gym leader theme. I was worried that they were gonna do the thing that happened in the Gen 3 remakes where all of the like articulation and like soul of it just kind of gets like smoothed over and just, it doesn't feel as like intense or like, like plucky, you know, like it doesn't have that same like sharp bite to it. And I mean, they kind of improved that almost like in the, in the remake here, it, the instrumentation, the brass usage specifically kind of goes crazy in the remake version of this. The bass is a little bit muffled compared to how it was in the original. Like original Gen 4 bass goes goes so hard. And it's it doesn't go as hard, but it's still there. It is definitely still there. That's pretty good. Honestly, that might be the best one I've heard so far today. I'm not even kidding. But I can't put it over the RSE theme because again, it's not unique enough. <laughs> That's the problem, is it's like it's basically the same thing as the gym leader theme, right? So it's like I, these these are these just can't be they can't be ranked too high here. That, that's just, that, that's my like rule I'm putting in for these because they're, they're repurposed gym leader themes, essentially. Our next theme is the actual, now we're actually doing the black and white theme. This is the Pokemon black and white, uh, not gym leader, Elite Four battle theme. They use the same one for black and white two as they do black and white one. We did check that during the ad break. They use the same theme in both black and white and black and white two. So it's just one theme for Unova, but I remember it being pretty good. So let's take a listen. Oh, little flurries in the back. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, that's, come on, come on. Easily the longest loop we've had so far. It is, it's become a meme at this point, but like, dude, they let it breathe. They actually gave it an opportunity to kind of breathe there a little bit. Not like heavily, cause you can't, with a theme that's supposed to be like this kind of intense, like you can't let it breathe like too much. So you kind of need to keep that energy going. So it feels hectic. It has like a really cool mix of like intensity and still like in a way, just like fun challenge kind of energy. So it's like, I, they, they, they really did kind of everything right with this one. This one really, it, it does it for me. It's iconic, but like, it just, it goes so hard. That, that's an absolute banger. <laughs> Without a doubt, that, that's gotta be up there. It, it kicks ass. They did a great job with it, phenomenal. That, that one needs to like make a comeback somehow. They need to like bring that back in like a, like a future game or something. Can you imagine like you like, there's like a 1% chance like when you fight Kieran or something in like the Scarlet and Violet DLC. Can you imagine there's like a 1% chance, like a shiny Pokemon you get like a remade version of that. That'd be fucking hype, dude. Uh, okay, our next one is the X and Y Elite Four theme. I don't remember this one super well. I remember it being kind of good though. Yeah, let's take a listen. I, I don't remember it super well, so. <laughs> I like the start.
<laughs> really? <laughs> okay. There's gotta be more to it, right? There we go. Okay, there we go. That's a really interesting one to rank. This happens with X and Y themes a lot where they tried to be so experimental with so many of the themes. And I really do applaud them for trying to mix it up. I really do. Uh, this one in particular, it starts off strong and then it stays on that idea for a bit and then starts to sprinkle in some other stuff. And it's like, it's still got my attention and then it just kind of stays on that idea for a bit too long. It stays in that beginning zone. It takes too long to like get to like anything that feels more exciting. It's like it it starts off like okay, I like the energy. I like the kind of do 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 like okay, like you got me. You got me hooked. And then I just kind of it's like this slow burn, but there's not really much burning. It's just like you've already burned what you had and you're just hoping the fire stays lit long enough for the actual like rest of the wood to come in and keep the fire hot you know i don't know if that's a good analogy for it but like it just feels like it it starts good and then doesn't really do anything else until it's like all right now let's actually put in some more like cool stuff and then it's cool again and then it's cool i like it like all this stuff you know that it decides to do later in the theme it's cool i like it a lot it's just like it's just all over the place as far as like pacing goes. It's just like, you just have these like spots where they're like, yeah, let's just do this for another four measures. Why not? Ah, let's do four more measures of that. Okay. Can we like not though? Like, can we do something a little bit different? Add anything? Like, it's just, we're just kind of vamping. We're just kind of going with the same <laughs> thing. Because of that inconsistency with some really good highs and some kind of bad lows, I'm going to say it's in B. I think that's our first B tier theme. Really cool stuff. Some stuff that's kind of like, okay, like you're putting me to sleep kind of a thing. I think it's a B tier theme. It's like, it's middle of the pack. It's aight. I'm sure there's gonna be somebody that's like, bro, you don't even like understand. Like you just fucking hate X and Y. <laughs> just like hate it. Like you don't understand. Like, bro, like it's fucking goaded with the sauce, bro. Like you listen to it again and then you're like, you'll understand. And then I'll be like, what was your first Pokemon game? And they're gonna be like, X and Y. <laughs> And be like, oh, was it? <laughs> Crazy, you know? Like, actually, it started on black and white, but I was too young to, like, really, like, have, like, played it, like, that much. So, like, really, my first, like, real one was X and Y. <laughs> All right. That's, like, that tends to be the <laughs> the conversation there, typically. Okay, next theme is the Sun and Moon Elite Four theme. From what I remember, I want to say I remember liking this one quite a bit when I played through the games, but it's just been so long. I haven't listened to this theme since I was there in my playthrough of the original Pokemon Moon. And that was 2016, <laughs> I think. So it's been a while. I don't remember it very well, but let's take a listen. Okay. Huh? 
Now is that it? My memory was not mistaken. It still goes hard. It still goes hard. It's pretty good. I think the whole theme is really good. It feels unique. It stands out. It feels like it's some sort of important battle. There's not really anything wrong with it. It's just, it, it's, it, it's good. I think personally, I'd prefer for there to be something else on it. It feels like a bit of a shorter loop. So that initial loop is like pretty good. It's, 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 it's pretty good. I like the ideas. I like the intensity. It comes up and it like, it's just, you know, it's this like high note and then like, lets it ring, let, lets it reverb a bit and then builds up to this like chaotic do and like it like i like that like chaos and then it like phases it back into the like and like gets to like the little bit of like a tighter theme again i like it a lot it feels like there's a portion like missing that could really put it over the top for me for that reason it might be top of a tier because the Ruby Sapphire Emerald version, that one kind of has the same thing where it's like, it's really good, but it's also kind of short, which is kind of the way with a lot of Ruby Sapphire Emerald ones. Like the, the, the loops aren't exactly very long. So they're kind of tied for me, honestly. They're, they're really, these two are like kind of tied. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave them like this to piss off the Sun and Moon fans. <laughs> like, oh, I can't believe we didn't put it above the RSE theme. <laughs> Like they're tied, brother. They're tied. These two are tied. I don't know what to tell you. The next theme is the Sword and Shield Elite Four. I guess it's not really like an Elite Four, right? It's like the Elite. What did they call it in? <laughs> I don't remember what they called it in uh, Sword and Shield, but it's like they they have like their what is it? So it says here Elite Four theme, and then Hop Elite theme and Marnie Elite theme, because I guess they had like different themes depending on who you're fighting, right? Let's listen to, I guess, just like the standard Elite theme. I don't know, I only did the Elite Four once in Sword and Shield, so I don't remember it super well, but. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and now give me something fresh, something new. Yeah. Okay, I, I think I've listened to enough. I think I got it. Okay, I really like it. I really like, oh man, I really like that. I'm waiting for something. When I'm listening to this theme, I'm waiting for something to like mix it up. They kind of do it, but it overall kind of just keeps its one vibe. And that one vibe is really cool. I do like it a lot. There's nothing that like catches me off guard with it. There's, there's not anything in the theme where I'm like, oh, whoa. Like, it's just kind of like, I start listening to it. I'm like, oh yeah, this sounds pretty cool. And then that's my feeling the rest of the thing. It's like, yeah, this is still pretty cool. This is still cool. <laughs> like, I, uh, <laughs> I'm like waiting for it to do a little more. So it's it's really hard to rank this one. Because if they just really did anything to like give it more of a grand moment or like something, I don't know. Like, I think I'd probably have it an absolute banger. But like the lack of that, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the X and Y theme where it's like, it's better than the X and Y theme, in my opinion. It's it's for like a different reason, right? It's like, it's just consistently and tonally throughout the whole theme. It's like, okay, yeah, this is cool. This is fine. I'm digging it. I'm jamming. But there's not really any like real highs or any lows. Whereas the X and Y theme was like, there's highs and lows and that's it. <laughs> like there's not really any like, 
I'm just jamming. It's like, there's just kind of like, oh, I either am bored of this or this is, hey, this is really cool. Sword and Shield theme is kind of like, it's all just fine. And if everything's just fine, we're in B tier. That's how it works. Also, I thought about putting in A tier, but, and it's not much of a dock against it, but it, you know, it does reuse some ideas from the gym leader theme a little bit there, which I think is fine. It really didn't dock it. I was going to put it in B anyways. It, that's something to note is like, okay, it is, it, it is still borrowing a few ideas there. It's not like completely unique, but again, that's not a, it's not a bad thing. It's just an observation <laughs> for any sword and shield stands out there. It's just observation. <laughs> Hey guys, if you like this tier list, by the way, if you enjoy what you're watching, you should subscribe because we're like super duper close to hitting a thousand subscribers. Holy, we should actually just hit the button. It's free. It's actually free. So you should subscribe. Uh, <laughs> I fumbled over my words. You should simply subscribe. The hop theme and Marnie theme I know are different. I know they're different. I did rank these in the rival theme. Okay, so... Because I have already ranked these two on a tier list before, I don't want to spend too much time talking about these because these have already been ranked, but we will listen to them for listening's sake. Here we go. I feel like I've listened to them at this point. I get it. Like, I get it. Once again, we have ranked these two themes before on a rival the Rivals theme tier list. It's just kind of a unique thing with Sword and Shield where you fight your rivals as Elite Four members kind of a thing. So they are ranked here as well. This theme is still fine. Um, I do like it better than the just, you know, the 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 Elite Leader theme. Um, it's it's just a little messy. It's a little, it's a little bit messy. There's just kind of a lot of noise happening, which is kind of the charm of it. Like you're in a big stadium, you know, like there's a crowd watching. That's kind of the thing with Sword and Shield, is like it's a there's a crowd watching. It's in a big battle stadium for these sorts of things. It's a big event. So I don't really mind the crowd noise or anything. I've I've always been fine with it. It's just the song itself is also trying to do a lot on top of that. So you've got like crowd noise, ah, 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 and then also like there's just like a lot going on with the crowd noise to where there's certain moments where just like, I don't know what I'm listening to anymore. It's got some like good vibes to it. Like it, it's it's fun. It's definitely fun. That's definitely, I do enjoy the, the, the fun factor with it, but it, it's not doing anything like wow me. But it is fun. I do. I. 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 I don't mind listening to it. It's fine. It's. It's. It's top of B tier. Both, both these themes are fine so far. Uh, the Marnie theme have already ranked it before, but we'll rank it again here. I remember liking this one quite a bit the last time I heard it. Let's take a listen. Yeah, yeah. I love the square lead. It goes crazy. I really, really like the Marnie battle theme. As an Elite Four theme here, it, it suffers from the same thing that the Diamond and Pearl ones do, where they are sort of repurposed versions of 
another theme. If that wasn't the case here, this would be an absolute banger, but it's in the same situation as these, where it's like, I simply cannot put it in absolute banger because it's a repurposed theme. It's already a theme for something else that's like gotten some slight tweaks, but it's gonna be higher than these two because these two really didn't change much at all, <laughs> except for the pitch and like some slight little tweaks. This at least adds a bit more, you know, you've got the crowd noises a little bit more that's been changed. So that's above the Diamond and Pearl ones, but I just, I cannot put it in absolute banger with it being already a rival theme. It is how it is. This is not a statement on the Marnie theme itself. <laughs> Marnie theme is great. <laughs> I didn't realize how many of these were just kind of like repurposed. <laughs> it's kind of a bummer. Honestly, it's kind of a bummer, but at least we have the Scarlet and Violet theme. I'll tell you right now, I, I do like this theme. I can't remember it off the very top of my head, but we do listen to it sometimes when we do some of the, the word games on stream. So let's take a listen, refresh ourselves on it, and, uh, you know, figure out where we want to put it. Oh, wait, I just realized. I think there's another one we have to add, right? Because there's like another Elite Four in the in the new DLC, the, the Blueberry Academy people. Okay, uh, yeah, we have two more themes. Okay, so we have the Elite Four theme from Scarlet and Violet, and then we have the, the DLC Elite Four theme to listen to as well. So we have two more themes, and then we're done. Here we go. This is the Elite Four battle music, the original Elite Four battle music in Scarlet and Violet. Breathe a bit. False sense of security. I'm bringing it back up. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's like the full loop there. I really do like this one. If there was like an A plus tier, that's where I would put this one. Because I think it's better than the ones in A tier. I don't think it's like as good as the Grimsley one or I not the Grimsley the black and white elite four theme it's like it's like almost there it deserves to be above a tier okay here's what we're gonna do for now it's an absolute banger for now <laughs> we're gonna listen to this last one don't mind this picture it shouldn't be here <laughs> I, I added it and it didn't look the way I wanted it to we're gonna listen to the last one and then see kind of like how that stacks up. And then if I need to, I'll just make an A plus tier. Last theme of the night, the BBA. So this is the theme from the most recent DLC and the elite four members that are a part of that DLC, uh, they had their own theme. So let's take a listen. Build up. I very much remember this theme now. Yes.
Yeah, okay. Yeah. out there it's like ooh. i think in order to properly rank this here's what i'll say before i put, give it a ranking it's dope it, it it it's vibey it jams it's it's i like that there's like some chaos to it but like it's kind of got some like almost it's like controlled chaos in a way if that makes sense like it's it, it still feels like it stays within like what it's trying to musically do but it still adds these like flourishes, these little, 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 little things. And then like, it does this, like this section where it's like the time signature feels weird. And you're like, Oh, well that like gets me off my groove for a second. And then like it dials back in and then it builds back up. Like it does a lot of really cool things in order to properly rank this. I need to listen to the gen five one again. I need to listen to this again. Cause I need to see how much better it is. Okay, I, you know, okay. As much as I want to put that in its own tier, I think I think I'll be satisfied enough to put these three themes in absolute banger, and just have this one at the absolute top of absolute banger because it's almost in a league of its own. But I do think that these two Scarlet and Violet themes do enough to like be at least in the same consideration. I don't know, I feel, I feel, I feel content with that as our absolute banger tier. It's weird to look at this list though, because as standalone, like zero context, like I'd probably have like multiple of these in absolute banger typically, but I mean, we gave all of our reasoning earlier, so I'm not gonna re re say everything here. But like, if these three themes here, if they simply just didn't repurpose another theme, like the theme itself is already so good. Like, I wonder on my rivals tier list, where did I put? Okay, that makes sense for the Marnie theme. That makes sense for Hop. Okay, because like I remember the Marnie theme being very high in that list. So that yes, that placement makes sense. That would definitely. Yeah, I mean, I really like the Marnie theme a lot. I wish it wasn't, you know, so repurposed from like the normal Marnie theme. It, it's weird. Like as elite four themes, like it just kind of like brings them down a peg, you know, it's very interesting. Either way, that's our, I mean, like, I guess relatively scuffed tier list. It was a little bit scuffed uh, just cause you know, certain themes were kind of repurposed or and whatnot, but overall, I mean, no D tier themes. All the themes were like good enough to at least, you know, like, I mean, this was the worst one and it's still not even like a bad theme. It's just, it just doesn't really do it for me. But like the rest of them, I enjoyed listening to all of these themes. The, I, I really didn't have like many problems with most of them. Some were just like a little bit better than others, you know, splitting hairs. But overall, that was great. I, I really, I don't really have m many complaints with this one. It was, it was, it was just a fun one to do. Fun, fun one to listen to. It's good stuff.